hi guys welcome once again to yet another video very important for drawing in your exams and basically in your practical exams that is the diagrammatic sectional view of seminiferous tubules so to draw that what is the method okay guys so basically we just need to put the outline and like the previous diagram I'll be drawing the structure by using pen later on so this is the outline on which I'm going to complete my drawing okay all right so once the outline is ready just rub it so that you can just see the impression only so that's the method always we use once we got the impression it's a time to draw the real line over it so you will be doing this with a colorful hb pencil okay so in order to get a contrast i am drawing it with pen never draw with pen for exams guys it's never appreciated this is just for the purpose of viewing in the video so hope okay done our diagrammatic you know uh, outline is done so uh, seminiferous tubules you know basically seminiferous tubules are found inside the testes and uh, you know there are so many seminiferous tubules around 200 more lobules are there available in each testis and each lobule will contain four to five you know seminiferous tubules coiled in it so when you cut a seminiferous tubule you are going to see its you know cross section like merely a circle or something like that so now let's uh, you know draw some more outlines uh, just some you know seminiferous tubules outline this is one okay i'm going to draw one more here so just i'm drawing my deciding where am i going to draw the tubule so this is my third one and here might be the fourth one a small here i could go for another one a fifth one here yet another one okay here we go for another in here another and and okay that is it so again we need only the just the impression there so that we can rub and remove the drawing okay guys so once this is done what is the next step as you know we are going to mark it with nice impression using the pen okay as you noted it, it will not take too much of time when you follow the real in a procedure which has been explained by the diagram okay so practice it so that you will not waste much time in drawing these shapes and all you have to just draw it with one hand just like what i'm doing right now next is filling the cells all right so here you draw so many circles and keep putting a dot along with filling the circles okay so these are the various stages of the cells which is going to produce the sperms later on so they are basically primary okay let us draw one more layer okay so the cells are called primary spermatocyte secondary spermatocytes spermatids then you know we can see sertoli cells and even other immunologically competent cells inside the testis by the way guys that immunologically competent cells normally people forget so after doing that you know just draw just not full layer simply like you know and then just here and there some more cells and now let us draw the sperm just draw a small and then a tail okay 
so that's the method of drawing this palms inside it so that tail shows that it is a basically a sperm which is found inside okay so one seminiferous tubule is covered now we have to do the same with other tubules also okay you will feel like some time you are taking for this but at the end your work will look very beautiful and i'm sure your examiner will be so much impressed with your diagram and going to give you full marks for the sectional view guys one more thing let me tell you even if you are not very good at studies suppose you are able to draw good diagrams maybe that is more than enough for you to score you know marks during exams some students you know i notice they won't study well or they are not very good at scoring you know in written exams and all but they draw very good beautiful diagrams and through that they could manage to get some marks okay so here also at the middle we are going to draw some sperms okay everywhere you have to draw sperms and this tail shows they are spermatozoa and there is what the sertoli cells also inside this but in this particular view we are unable to identify it separately so here we go for the next one so don't think it as a treachery like so many are drawing but if you draw with that you know precision then only the diagrams are going to look beautiful for exam if you simply you know uh, draw only one or two it won't give that precise look for your exam so the examiner might cut your half mark or something so uh, once you finish certain cells it's not a, it should not forget that you need to draw some spermatozoa inside it let's go ahead for some cells here and this is showing a small section of another tubule which is on this side now it's the time to draw certain cells over here okay guys so look there is uh, you can leave sometimes gap or you can you know sometimes you can leave some space in between there is nothing wrong in that like see i left a gap there so so that all gives the natural look okay here also let's not forget drawing some spermatozoa all right as you know there are three procedures here right like one is spermatogenesis second is spermiogenesis and third is spermiation okay so if you don't know what are they you have to check it out okay the whole process of making sperm is called spermatogenesis and this process of changing the tertiary spermatids by growing a tail on them is called spermiogenesis so at the end of the spermiogenesis we will see sperms with the tails and then once the sperms are ready they can be conveyed through the seminiferous tubules to the vasa vas deferens through the red testes vasa efferentia epididymis and then finally they reach the vas deferens and get stored there okay so once they are released to the vas deferens that process is called spermiation the release of sperm is called spermiation okay so guys just to make the sperm stand different you notice i'm just putting the black color on the head of the sperm so on a single notice itself a person can identify the sperm separately from the other cells okay so hope you understood why am i giving the black color for the sperm head now see that contrast you might be getting it all right okay here also some sperms are there fine now we have one more here so let's continue doing the same procedure just drawing circles and putting dot inside it okay and then 
ones, spermatozoa, nothing. Okay. All the spermatozoans and all the seminiferous tubules, which we are seeing in this diagram is covered. It's a time to show, you know, uh, the cells between the seminiferous tubule and that's called, I mean, that's called the interstitial cells or leadic cells, isn't it? So let us draw the leadic cells. So for that, draw elongated cells like this and put a dot in the middle to show there is a nucleus in it, okay? So you got the method. So see, don't rub and draw again and again. Just draw the shapes like what I'm drawing and put the dot in the middle. So that suddenly gives the appearance that these are lydic cells or interstitial cells. Okay, so it's uh, time to draw more interstitial cells in between. And then, you know, once all the interstitial cells are drawn, I think we have successfully completed drawing the diagram. Wow. So hope you are finding it easy to draw now. It's so, such a simple process and I'm sure you're going to get full marks if you draw neatly like this. At the end, you know, just uh, give a shade, okay, like ovary. drawing parallel lines okay guys try to be careful this line should not go out of this diagram okay once it goes out it doesn't look good and now let us just try to spread them by using here our spreading shading method okay and guys that's it we have drawn the diagram of the sectional view of seminiferous tubule let me give the heading sectional view of of seminiferous tubule All right, so what are the major parts that we are going to label here? So first of all, these cells are actually interstitial cells, okay? And then oh, we have, you know, this this is the tubule. This is the outer cover of the seminiferous tubule, isn't it? Okay, so that we can mark as seminiferous tubule. And... Uh, this black one with the tail is the spermatozoa so let us mark one among those spermatozoas here and uh, you know some of the cells inside like you know you can just select one or two cells like this and just mark them as sertoli cells okay so that's all the major uh, labelings that we need so let's go ahead with the labels guys so this is the interstitial cell. Okay, cells. So let me draw one more here. And now next one is the, this one is the seminiferous tubule. Okay, so seminiferous tubule and uh, here is this spermatozoa and then this is the sertoli cells so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this drawing and you know uh, just to get a contrast you can just uh, fill inside you know some shapes like this okay
that's all guys hope you enjoy this video if you like kindly subscribe give a thumbs up and see you in the next video till then bye bye